How is it going guys? The PlayStation Store has been running its games under $20 so we're getting back into the groove of having these smaller PSN sales but I have to say this games under $20 sale is quite good like coming off that huge huge holiday sale this games under $20 sale is actually really good in this video want to highlight 10 deals uh not under the price of 10 or 5 dollars we'll get to those videos at some point but these are a little bit more on the pricier side so without further ado let's get right into it and let's start things off with the persona 5 royal deluxe edition now Typically, I would say, hey, don't get the Deluxe Edition, just avoid that and get the base game if you can get that cheaper. However, the Deluxe Edition being down at $19.59, this is a tremendous, tremendous price for Persona 5. And I believe a new low, even if you compare it to the base game, I don't think the base game's ever been sub $20. So P5 Royale for sub $20 is really, really good. The Deluxe Edition has some in-game cosmetic items and things like that. Nothing to really write home about. However, again, the game itself is so good. It has so much content. The music is great. The visual style is tremendous, and it's going to age incredibly well. The story is excellent. Cast of characters are great. You get what I'm saying? As you go on and on, you'll notice that this is a damn near perfect single-player JRPG. It's not my favorite single-player JRPG of all time, but uh, I rank it pretty high up there, and I put it among the elite tier of Japanese RPGs for 90 I would highly recommend it, even if you're not the biggest fan of JRPGs, still worthwhile to check out. Next up, Assassin's Creed, the Ezio Collection is 70% off for $12. Look, AC, uh, Ezio's trilogy has been around for a very long time. AC2 came out all the way back in 2009, Brotherhood came out in 2010, and Revelations came out in 2011. Yeah, Ubisoft was really spamming those Ezio games. AC in general was being spammed a lot back then, but... I was super into it. I love the Assassin's Creed games back then. And for a lot of people, Ezio is their favorite character in the entire franchise. He is my second favorite right behind Edward Kenway. But hey, you can go back and forth with those two. I think Ezio is a fantastic character. And to see his evolution from AC2 into AC Revelations, even if in Revelations, maybe you can make the argument Ezio overstayed his welcome a little bit. But uh, AC2 was so good. Brotherhood was so good. Even though Brotherhood was a little bit on the easier side in terms of difficulty, uh, it was still a great game, and uh, Revelations was also very good, uh, just not at the level of the other two in my opinion, but the collection for 12 bucks is excellent, you get a lot of trophies in there as well, a great buy at this price point. Next up we have Dying Light the following Enhanced Edition, I know, I know, Dying Light 2 is right around the corner, and I know, I know, the Dying Light Platinum Edition is an option as well, uh, the Platinum Edition is $50 currently, and even when it does go on sale it's like $20, $25, so... I think Dying Light the following Enhanced Edition is a great buy still at 12 bucks. You get a lot of content. You get Dying Light, you get the following, and you get a bunch of other DLC content as well. And Dying Light 1, in general, is just a very, very good game. A game that came out very early on the PlayStation 4's life cycle, but uh, if you missed out on it, this would be a great time to check it out. Especially, you know, again, in February, people are going to be dropping a lot of cash on a variety of games. So Dying Light 2 is one that I think it might be advantageous for you to wait on for a little bit, just because, you know, $60 launch day, if you're planning on picking up Horizon, if you're planning on picking up Elden Ring, wait on Dying Light 2, but if you've never played Dying Light 1, well, 12 bucks for that is obviously a very very cheap price and i would highly recommend it at this price point goodbye very good open world game and it's not a gigantic open world but it's a pretty good one decent bit of content here as well Visuals still hold up rather well, and for $12, again, a very good pickup here. Next up, we have Borderlands The Legendary Collection, 60% off for $19.99. This includes Borderlands 2, Borderlands 1, Borderlands the pre-sequel, and the game's respective DLC. It's got almost everything, except I believe it's missing uh, Borderlands 2, Commander Lilith, and the Fight for the Sanctuary. That DLC content is whatever, it's not really that necessary. But uh, with all three of those games with the DLC content as well, look, if you've never played Borderlands, it's a great option to pick it up. If you just want to revisit the game, again, a great option to pick up. I love me some of the uh, older Borderlands titles. I like Borderlands 3, but Borderlands 1 and 2, I thought, were the pinnacle of the franchise. And Borderlands 2, especially, I thought was great. And don't even worry if you don't have a couple friends to pick up the game with you. Uh, even playing the game solo, it's pretty enjoyable, all things considered. Like, even if you play it solo, the humor is still intact, the decent story is still there. There, and the gameplay is still pretty freaking good. So $20 for all of that content, I still think it's a good buy if you plan on picking up the game and playing it solo. Next up, another collection here, Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm Legacy 1749. I seem to always recommend this deal because, man, maybe it's because I am a very 
very big uh, Naruto fan growing up, and it's like the anime that really resonated with me growing up like this, and probably like Yu-Gi-Oh! to be perfectly honest, but um, this collection is just so great. Even, like, for the value you're getting here, even if you're not the biggest fan of Naruto, I still think it's a good buy, because Naruto Storm uh, 1, 2, 3, and 4 with the DLC, that's a lot of bang for your buck. Uh, like, this collection has been a bit cheaper. I believe it's been down to, like, $14, but $17.49 is still such a good price. And, again, um, I usually say the same thing, but Naruto Storm 1, its story is, like, pretty... Like, it, it's hard to follow if you're not a fan of uh, Naruto. But Storm 2, Storm 3, and Storm 4, uh, those games single-player, especially Storm 2. Storm 2 single-player component is excellent, um, and it's... If you can fill in the gaps between what happens in the initial portion of Naruto and then jump into Storm 2, you can really have a great time with that game single player. Come on, it's just really, really well done. And again, all that content for $17.50, I just think is a great buy all around. Would recommend it at this price point. Next up, we have Catherine Full Body Digital Deluxe Edition. If you're a Plus subscriber, this is down to $12.49. Fantastic price for this. And this was one of those releases that its initial price was $50. And I was just like, ah, no moss on that one. $50 bucks was a bit much, even though I love this game when it came out back in like 2012, 2011? Maybe 2010. Uh, but... This Digital Deluxe Edition includes the full game and some additional DLC that's nothing to write home about. However, the game is so good, it's a very, very quirky puzzle game with an interesting story and a lot of replayability. The full body edition adds on to that replayability. Just really like the game, I thought the cast of characters were great, I thought it had some humor, I thought it had some twists and turns. Just a very enjoyable game, and for $12.49, if you want a narrative focus game with some, you know, puzzle gameplay elements, I think this is a really good price, especially at this point. Price point, $12.50. Excellent deal here. Next up, we have Judgment, which is 40% off for $17.99. Now, it should be noted, this is the PS4 version of Judgment. The PS5 version at the moment of recording this video is unfortunately not on sale, and I would not be picking that version up for $40. However, if you only have a PS4 right now, $18 for Judgment is a good buy. If you don't want to play all of the Yakuza titles, you can jump right into Judgment and have a great time with this game. It's by Ryugaka Toku Studios. This one obviously built ground up for the PS4, also a little bit better from a visual standpoint, and it's got English voice acting, so that's always going to be a plus for a lot of you guys that want to play the game with English voice acting. A lot of the other Yakuza games only have uh, English subtitles, so that's a little bit of a bummer, but 18 bucks for Judgment I think is great. Very good story here. Uh, voice acting is solid. Gameplay is very good. A lot of content as well if you want to do everything, so it'll keep you busy for quite a while again. Good pickup here for 18 bucks. Next up, we have XCOM 2, the collection. 85% off for $15, which this deal is ridiculous. I am incredibly high on XCOM as a franchise. XCOM Enemy Unknown, I loved, and I thought XCOM 2 just built upon that. Great tactics-based game, and I'm not the biggest fan of tactical style games, but XCOM Enemy Unknown really won me over, then XCOM 2 again built upon that. However, with XCOM 2, it is very very advantageous if you can pick up the collection because this includes a lot of additional content. Namely, the War of the Chosen expansion, which is going to extend the game quite a bit, and then you also get some more DLC on top of that. All that content for $15 is honestly pretty ridiculous. It's a value deal. And you're getting a lot of bang for your buck here as well. Again, $15, great pickup for sure. Next up, another JRPG I'm a huge fan of. Valkyria Chronicles Remastered and the Valkyria Chronicles 4 bundle is 60% off for $16. Guys, you gotta play Valkyria Chronicles. Even if you're not a big JRPG fan, this is another one that is a great gateway JRPG, a tactics-based JRPG, another game that not the biggest guy into tactics titles, but this one won me over a lot, and it really does avoid a lot of the typical JRPG tropes and makes it engaging to just about everyone. Like, it's an emotional war story, great cast of characters, relatable characters as well. They all have great development, especially in Valkyria Chronicles uh, 4, but Valkyria Chronicles 1 I thought was excellent as well. Some people even prefer VC1. I liked uh, VC4's cast of characters a little bit more, but uh, both games are great. The art style is fantastic, fantastic, fantastic as well. It has aged incredibly well. Valkyria Chronicles 1 came out back all the way back in 2008, unfortunately. Uh, didn't sell all too well back then, and it got a second win with some re-releases, but yeah, this collection, 16 bucks, great buy, and quite a bit of content and bang for your buck here as well. 
well. And lastly, I do want to give a shout to Prey, which is 50% off for $14.99. Unfortunately, not the deluxe edition, but the base game for $15, I still think is a decent buy. It's a great sci-fi first-person shooter with some Metroidvania elements in there as well. Like, you can beat the game pretty quickly, but if you want to, you know, discover every nook and cranny, that's going to take a little bit uh, longer. And the game itself is incredibly atmospheric, good storytelling here as well. 15 bucks might be a little bit on the pricey side, but I still think it's a good buy. It's been cheaper. I believe it's been down to $7.50 before, but uh, again, I think 15 bucks is still a decent pickup. It is available through PlayStation now. If you do have that, uh, that is an alternative way to play the game as well, so I thought I would make mention of that. But pray for $15. Thought that was worth a buy, especially if you're looking for a good atmospheric sci-fi title to get into. But that is going to do it for me. Again, this game's under $20 sale. I know we just came off the holiday sale, and that was the big sale but this sale is also uh, a banger so i would recommend you to check it out uh, a lot of good deals and again we're gonna go over deals under ten dollars as well thought i would look at some of the more expensive deals here that's gonna do it for me sound off with all of your thoughts in the comments section down below thank you for watching and goodbye Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.